Welcome. In this video, we'll be going over the Rotate tool. Rotating is just as it sounds. It allows you to rotate your object. By default, rotating your object will rotate it in all directions. So as you can see when I rotate it, it's rotating on all axes. And you can also see that up here under the Transform tab. And under Rotation, all the degrees are changing, so it's rotating in all directions. More often than not, at least for me, you'll want to rotate solely on one axis. To rotate on the x-axis, press R, then X. To rotate on the y-axis, press Y. And to rotate on the z-axis, press Z. And of course, if you're not already in the rotate command, then you will have to press R before choosing the axis. So if I just press X, well, it's just going to open this delete tab. And if I just press Y or Z, it's just going to go to different functions within Blender. So you have to actually enable the rotate command first before you choose the axis. There is no reason to rotate on two axes because it will have the same effect as choosing just one axis. So if I pressed R for rotate and then press Shift Z, well, there's no reason to do that when you could just press Z, press Z. But if you wanted to, you could press Shift Z or just Z. It really doesn't matter. But usually I just choose the one axis that I would like to rotate on. There isn't much to the rotate tool. It's just a simple command that allows you to rotate your object, which you will probably find yourself doing quite often. I'll see you in the next video.